Oh, Champions Cup Season 21 Playoffs draw, the live draw, where we all get really excited but really nervous and we all get ready to curse Bernie. Haha, <laughs> but not this season. No, 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 no. If you get a bad draw this time, it doesn't lay at my door, it lays at my co-announcer tonight and that is Jim Sardonic. Evening, Jim. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, crumbling beneath all of this pressure you're putting on me to hit the button. <sighs> I tell you what, there's a lot of pressure on that button. Because you may think it's just pressing a button, but everybody knows. If you <laughs> give them the team they do it want, it's your fault. It's not the button's fault, it's your fault. You know, you, you've, been given, you've been given the list of who wants what. And, you know, we're, we're expecting yeah, you well. to get it done. It was an awfully short list. Uh, Shad requested stunties, mm -hmm. so naturally I want to give him uh, some of those nasty glowworm ogres. And uh, you wanted undead, as I remember. No, so underworld. I, I wanted. Uh, what, what, no, one of, one of them starts with a U. Undead, underworld. It's to the be same fair, thing, really, to, to be fair, it. you know what, my orcs. We got two strength five bruisers. We don't mind taking on the undead. We prefer the underworld, but you know what? <laughs> we'll take on the undead. We're not scared of no one. We're orcs. Wait, so we oh, don't wait. care. If you take it, if you take a U and you turn it a little sideways, it's kind of like a C. So I think I'm choosing to hear chaos, unless there's oh, a mansion God, in this room. No. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't really have that many mansions, you know. I'm stuck on 99 oh, yeah. mansions in, like, 21 seasons of bribery. I've only got 99 mansions. I need to find myself another one. Anania's here now. Anania. Oh, God, he doesn't like it when I do the tipping. So you've got a really good chance to be the hero here. Really good chance. Or you could just screw him over and give him someone like, I know, Dark Fist's Chaos. Dwarfs. I think that's, <laughs> I think that, to be fair, I think that's a good draw, though. They're both short. Are they? They're both sure it won't be that bad of a draw. You know? And Wheelie, he, he definitely deserves a really tricky draw, though, because Bernie didn't get Mighty Blow. I mean, come on, man. He could be guard. As if I would want to go and get guard. Uh, he did that same the... thing to me, actually. Did he? Well, they got, I, think, I think he deserves. Who did, who did he say? V-Power V's Chaos? Or maybe... I don't know. What, what, what do you think you should give him for, for that insult of you yeah. know, giving us guard? Maybe guard think, his uh, orcs. D despite all of that, uh, I still rather really like Wheelie. I think I think we'll give him some of those uh, Tor vampires. Because Tor is just a brilliant coach that can win with anything. And that's going to be a struggle. And I think that'd be a fun matchup. Have you seen? But, yeah. I mean, have you seen that? Um, I'm, I'm just going to go to the vampires now. Well, while we wait for everyone to just get in, um, Tori's got a vampire called Duke Abelfrost, and he's a he's movement seven, strength five, and then he's got a jump nice. five vamp as well. So um, wow, yeah, yeah. So, and we know how good Tori is. A very, very, very good coach. Um, nobody will want to play Cami. <laughs> No, the beat no. the beat machine will be going no end. Um, <laughs> I think he's already scared. Is it De Deonosis is scared off already? But Deonosis isn't in here. It's good to see um, Stumpumper back. Um, Random Mad, obviously superb story last season. Got to the semi final. Can these dark elves get very far this time? Um, I, I gotta I gotta ask you a loaded question here. Oh, um, go on. Segezio, he's got uh, five players I waiting know. for. Uh, lift but what do you think is it scarier to have the unknown matchup with him and five levels coming or we'll take on dark fist and his almost 100 game chorps oh i don't know i think i'd take on Sekhezio because Sekhezio doesn't have a strength six bull and that's gonna yeah, be that's... a problem to get down and Sekhezio he may do but he doesn't have them piling on killers either so i'm an orc though don't forget so you know, and Anani was saying, remember, Anani was saying, remember, Segezi was his first pick in the Civil War. So, oh. mm, so there you go. Oh, obviously, on that point, um, the cross-platform cup has been confirmed for the first week in April. I have seen the point structure and the rules and everything. I'm just waiting for uh, Full Metal and uh, Haring Zord to say they're happy with that. And we'll unveil it in the Discord channel um, in the next... Sounds 48 hours, I would have thought. But it, it, it's 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 different. We wanted to freshen it up a bit. Um, and um, we're all really, really happy with it. We're hoping to get a promo video as well to go with it. So uh, stay tuned for that. So there you go. There's, there's a nice little plug for you. Sounds like a good setup for an April Fool's. First week of April, you said, huh? Oh, yeah. You know what? I never even thought of that. Never even thought of that, to be <laughs> honest. 
So it could, yeah, it could probably start <laughs> first. Bit. That'd be funny. <laughs> Never even thought of that. I better check that they're not pulling a fast one. Mate. Good. I knew, I knew there's reason it was Adrian. Um, <laughs> so is everybody ready to just like go now? I mean, it is a bit late. I mean, we've only got six in, but you know, they could always watch it back, they're, aren't they? They're the six most important. So you know. Yeah. So last, um, last few minutes. Put in chat who you want, who you want or who you don't want, because Jim's here. He, yeah. he, 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 this is your last chance to beg to Jim. If you don't beg to Jim and you get a bad draw, don't come crying to us because, you know, Jim's here. He's listening now. He's, he's listening. He's like, come on, who, who do you want? You know, that's I, you all know. I've got is Shad wanted Ogres and Bernie wanted Chaos, and that's all I've got to this point. Yeah. Maybe nobody else has really requested anything. Yeah. I have to. <laughs> you, you're like, I'm not even going to fight it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and Anani wants Zons and Wheelie wants Flings. Oh, do you want Flings on oh, me? A nice Algum, Algum. Oh, no. Algum was he's a sneaky. Oh, Grooby wants Jim. Oh, Grooby. Oh, Grooby's. You can't help but love that guy. Oh, he loves you, doesn't he? He definitely loves you. I know who I don't <laughs> want. You know, you know what? I, I every season I say, Benny, don't think, just don't think who you don't want. Last season I was like, oh my god, don't give me undead, don't give me, don't give me V powers undead. We match up so badly. And what happened? I got him. I was like, for fuck's sake! It happened so many times. But I, I usually pick the button. This time I'm not pick, picking the button. You are. Whew. So I'm hoping you'll give me a nice draw with the underworld. And you know what will happen? You'll give me the draw and I'll get smashed. Uh, that's usually what happens. <laughs> um, but if we're all ready, would you like to press the button, kind sir? And until when you've done it, and I will go to the schedule, and then we'll go through the first page as we used to do, and then we'll go to the second page. So, all right, here this, we go, uh, guys. This competition has started. Okay, so there it is. It's on our screen. So, are you all ready? Let's go and have a look at the schedule. Right. So we'll look at the. Sorry, I'm just saying we didn't look at the first page first, um, and then we'll look at the second page. Um, so, Ogun Gout, that's the Ogres, versus Mercy's Pet Shop Rampage. I think both coaches will be happy with that. The second one, genius, Jim, genius. V-Squad, Chaos Kill Team, versus Interactive Gameplay, Chaos Kill Team. Chaos Kill Team. Very smartly done. You know what? I, I ain't looked at the second page, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I, I, I'm really worried here, I'll be honest, because I cannot see um, that chuff team on the first page and i'm not on the first page so it's like oh my god please no but we'll go to that there, jim will never one... get a mansion if that happens um there, oh damn it let's have a there look. is one chuff team but um we got uh, losing made easy up next versus dr flu's men yeah i tell you what i it was really you know, out of all these teams the thing i was like oh my god i was so happy to see was roster effect because he was here in the first ever season um and, and i know i've told this story a few times but i'm old so you know let me have my little little storytelling and it, <laughs> no one had known who this roster for really was and um he was up against Stuntman Didi, who most people know, the Dark Elves, this powerful Stuntman. Dark Elves, and he was he was the favourite to win it. Everybody was on the Stuntman Didi train. I don't know if I was, but everybody else was. And it was it was 1-1, and the Dark Elves threw the ball into the end zone, and and the Dark Elves were going to win it. And then from nowhere came Eldrill Sandwad with his pass block, intercepted the ball, handed off to High Elf, and he went and scored and knocked out the top team of um of see like a uh, season one and the curse of finishing top was born so there you go so that's basically how that happened so i'm really glad that's to how he's legends, back. yeah that's how legends are made absolutely and then we've got oh good too that is pro elves against bubble bobble um very good goblin team doing really well how i play lizards against dark elves oh that'll be fun um all dwarfs are dead chorfs versus Underworld, that that's gonna be a mistake. I wanted Underworld. How 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 come he got him? Wait, wait I how, thought you had the trophy. I can't believe that. Uh, oh man, man. Oh, man I tell you what, we're supposed oh. to be friends. Uh, Nan County, <laughs> Nan County, that is Ali D versus Wheelie. Oh, well, both of them will be happy. And B Hippie Three, that is the current champion. And um, in the final, I said he'd been beaten once with Wood Elves pitch cleared, but he shows me it wasn't Wood Elves. It was a, maybe a Skaven. So he's actually undefeated in the playoffs with Wood Elves. So there wow, you go. That's amazing. Right, page two. Here we go. Let's see who's got who. I don't know where I am. I'm still trying to find where I am. I am against 
Witherton, whoever they are. Anyway, let's go through it. Fat lips and open I wounds. I, I know who they are. Right. Right, so fat lips, open wounds. You're laughing. I'm worried that you're laughing. But anyway, I'm going to ignore. I'm going to ignore. I'm going to ignore. Oh, Dinah. Dinah's not in it. I know that for a fact. Um, fat lips and open wounds. That is the Bretonians of Stumpumper. Now, here's another story for Stumpumper. Stumpumper. Great coach. One of my favourites. Brilliant. Fantastic. In the league, pfft, one of the best. But every time we went into the playoffs, it just it just fell apart. He even said himself, I just fall apart in the playoffs. So, you know, it's, could this be the season? After all this time, he comes as a Bretonian and wins the cup. He could do so he's it. He's got a tall order. He tall has. order off of the bat. Yeah, straight away. And it's tears. He could be crying tears again as he goes up against the Wood Elves. Oh, that shod. But he has admin's dice now. So it's, you never know. Admin dice. Yeah, shot. Yeah. And Those don't one... work the way you guys told me, by the way. Uh, sometimes yeah, well, I, I still have ones on them. The, the, prob the problem with admin dice is Gimlik won a championship before he was an admin. He became an admin, never won another championship. As a win, oh. as we know, four-time champion, never won it as an admin. See, you guys don't tell the new guys this. You Sam... tell them, oh yeah, we'll give you your admin dice. And it sounds Sam... all cool and you're like, oh. Sam says yes, never won it with admin dice. There's only one coach who's ever won it with admin dice, and he won it twice. I'll let you decide. Am I talking to You could be. You could be. There's only <laughs> one coach. <laughs> that could be because I, I use Gruber's dice. Um, I don't use admin <laughs> dice. I'm not daft as you a lot. <laughs> anyway, so that should be a good match as well. Dark Shadows. Who are they? Helsinki. Helsinki, they're the vamps. I know they're the vamps. I'm trying to think who Dark Shadows are. It's the replacement Dark Elf team. Uh, no, it's not Dark Elves. Was it Dark Elves? Not Dark Elves. No. Not Dark Elves. The, uh, what was the other replacement team? It is... It was oh, Undead. Shit. It was Undead and there was... Undead, yep. That's the one. It's a replacement Undead. Do you know what? You, you won't fire off getting me Undead then, won't you, you little bastard? The only... well, I was trying. <laughs> you was trying. I was trying. So Instead, got... I got you some Camry. <laughs> well, close enough. Which is pretty much undead yeah do you know what i can't <laughs> the thing is though i can't really complain when i see what some of the other guys are playing against i can't really hate you i think you've probably got the job for next season even if i did get knocked out by withered son or whoever it is um so <laughs> I, I quite like you jim i thought you did a good draw mate i really do um so dark shadows it was a filler team for the undead they will play helsinki veracula or veraculo that is um torres vampires um, Withered Sun, that is the Kemri filler team who we're not sure who's got it against da Rebel Orcs, that's my boys um, from Rebel, Rebel the best blah blah blah, yeah we are the best and then, <laughs> I've got to get it in there I get shot full metal in here, Rebel best probably <laughs> ever, problem is on PC but doesn't matter go and buy yourself PC type bastards, if you can't afford one, win this, get one, boom Dark, yep. Fist is, Dark Fist is a meanie that is Kislev that's X Asher, yep Kislev and they're against the Hobbits the that's gonna be tricky because I like Algum was a bloody good fling coach, so that is not a given. No, oh, no. but this one makes me smile so. Much. I'm sorry, I'll be honest. Glot, the wonderful concede king himself, the guy who makes everybody concede. Everybody fears the Glot and his powerful lizards against Anania, the admin. That's gonna be good. I think. I think. Anania won't concede. I think Anania's got a lot of power. He, he, he'll be quite happy, do you think? Do you think he'll be happy with that? Well, I had heard some talking. Is, is it not a thing? Um, starting at the end of Season 21, aren't we banning uh, the oversized lawnmowers? You can no longer have Death Rollers uh, at any time? I thought that was in the admin channel. I thought... It, it only, it, it's only going to be enforced if I don't play Dwarfs. If I play Dwarfs, it's allowed. If I don't, then oh, we decided that it's probably best than not. I think that's a fair I enough. See. I think that's fair, isn't it? Well, I think it's fair. Yeah, you know, I'm good with it. You know, I'm fine with it, I guess. Because yeah. you don't really play dwarfs that much, so, you know, the less dwarfs, the better. Yeah, well, I did win a championship with them. And don't get me started on season one, 10 25. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. We was Rob. <laughs> and Rob. As, as, as we know, the data, there's data for season two all the way up to season 21. Season one, the data's disappeared. Wonder Look why. At this one, too. <laughs> Oh. This uh, this next matchup is a, a rematch from last season's semifinal match. Yeah, brutal perfection. 
I, yeah, I, I somewhat... really, I really fancy these orcs as well. I really do. Maybe the bed is tip. I yeah. don't know. Gadly again though. Yeah. This is this is a tough one though. Like Rand has put together a pretty solid dark elf team, and he's uh, he's making a serious run for the last season with the cash and. No Camry for him. Um, this is going to be a game to watch. That's one I strongly recommend trying to catch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Orcs versus Dark Elves, another good one. And oh dear, what have you done to the Amazons? What have you done? Well, they, uh, Amazons, you play like one or two games against them on the champs ladder and they just piss you off. So you're like, you know what? You get the chorfs. Self-professed best chorf coach ever. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um... Sorry, Rob. Oh, God. Terrible. And finally, Lupola Beto, that is Segezia's friend, I Necro. think, Na 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 um, and it's Black, that's TGV, Major. Yep. Yep, so, yep. Long top uh, number one on the ladder for most of season 21, so. So that, <laughs> that, is, that is the draw. So as we go through, we'll go through our picks and then we'll obviously everybody will want to know the Bernie's tip because obviously I got it right last year. Did, have I ever mentioned that I picked the winner last year? You, you got the winner that? last year? Yeah, yeah, did not. Oh, I, 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 I said be, be hippie too, win it, no problem. And it just See, felt here's, like... Here's... Here's the thing: is that's that's easy. We know Project is good with you know the uh, the wood elves and all that kind of stuff. So you know, I'm going to challenge you to step outside your box this time. Um, maybe not... uh, maybe <laughs> not pick Project you this time. Well, that's not much fun, is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably going to win everything. Let's go through them. Let's go through them. Ogre, Gout, Ogre and Gout versus Mercy's Pet Shop Rampage. Who wins? I'm going to side with the Skaven on this one. Uh, Glowworm's an awesome coach. Mercy's an awesome coach. Um, I just think that uh, Mercy's played a game or two versus Ogres. He's on to their tricks, and without a few lucky tosses, it's going to be yeah. real tough for the Ogres to pull it out versus Mercy. I, I think the Rats should win this, but I've got a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky feeling the Ogres are going to surprise. So I'm going to go with Ogre and Gout. So Glowweb, wow, congratulations, great. you get my thumbs up, and I know you're delighted. Now then, V-Squad wow. versus Interactive Gameplay, Kill Squad v Kill Squad, although Interactive Gameplay has got one of their Kill Claw pieces out. Who wins? Well, that, that MNG is a big piece. Um, mm -hmm. V-Power has been killing it this season. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's done really well with the Chaos, and uh, you know I'm, I'm not super familiar with uh, Pip-Pip or... Um, yeah, I'm just not super familiar. I know he's a uh, PC guy that's come over to hang out with us for a, a season or, or a few here. Mm. Um, i got to go with V-Power just because I know him better. Yeah, uh, I've got to go for V. I think that kill piece could make all the difference. I know what I get with V. I am really seeing much of Pippin, and that's the only reason why. I'm, I'm, but I know what I get with V. You know, I like to know what I get in, in the box, and I know what oh, I'm yeah. going to get in the box. And if squad loses yeah we lose this but i'm gonna go for v squad loser made easy versus dr flu's men now dr flu sparky everyone says this coach's dice are more loaded than any other dice even more loaded than groupies is that going to be enough to make him beat the high elves wait are they even more loaded than commies I, 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 do you know what people said they're, they're more loaded than commies but i'm like really commies got the most yeah, loaded dice in history that's... surely yeah that's weird that's weird well, to, well, maybe we should put some admin time into studying up on that because something's going on there. Mm -hmm. um, but no, this is a. Uh, I'm going with uh, definitely going with losing made easy. Um, not that I don't have faith in uh, Sparky as it is, um, but I mean, you can't really go against Rastafer like you said earlier. Um, in fact, I just played him this week in a league game, and yeah. um, the guy's. He's a good coach. He's just a smart guy. He makes is good decisions. Guy. He is. He's a very humble coach. Um, he's you know he, he's he's a lot better than he thinks he is because he always thinks, oh well, I'm not good, but you are. You're very good. And you know what? I really want to pick Doctor Flu's men because I've just seen the way his dice roll. But the fairy tale of roster for from season one swings for me. So I'm going to go with the high elves to keep him going and game through again maybe another interception who knows um this next one's an interesting one pro elves um versus goblins mm. yeah yeah um mm. once again this... both very good coaches they are um but uh, i just i don't see uh i don't see the goblins pulling it out here um i'm gonna i'm gonna have to stick with hyrio and his boys just doing what they do in in ccl playoffs see the thing is i always bloody end up tipping the goblins because i think one season i'll get it bloody right 
and they get smashed 3 4 nil or some crap like that. But, do you know what? If I don't tip the goblins for this and they won't, I would spew. <laughs> I would. And we know so you're, I'm going you're to go going with the with goblins. The pro then. No, what? I'm going with the goblins. I thought think... we were going to get to see a spew. Nope, I'm going to go with the goblins. Uh, they've impressed me all season and I'm going to stick with them because at the end of the day, goblins have got chainsaws, they've got pogo sticks, they've got them wearing fanatics, they've got two mighty blow trolls against mainly AV7 girly bloody elves, you know, snap a lot. Yeah, but I mean, let's be fair, with uh, with Hyrule as coach, yeah. he's come across a lot scarier than a chainsaw and a couple of trolls. I mean... Yeah, maybe so. But you know what? I like both coaches, but I think this coach has got the Bubble Bobble going well. Bubble Bobble, what an awesome game that was. I love Bubble oh, Bobble. I've played that game so many times. And like I said... That was uh, your uh, training for Blood Bowl. Yeah, I love Bubble Bobble. So uh, I've got to go with that. There's a thing I heard. And ironically... Bernie told me the story that... Go on. Yeah, he went into the game store mm -hmm. and he was looking for the newest Bubble Bobble game. And you couldn't find it, but Blood Bowl sounded almost the same, so he bought yeah. it, and that's what brought Bernie to us. Exactly, and if I remember correctly, wasn't Bubble Bubble, weren't they like dinosaurs, like sauruses? You know? And that's I, thought what... I thought it was like a Tetris game or something. No, the, 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 the blue um, bubbles out the mouths. I'm sure there was like little dinosaurs. I'm sure, I'm sure there was. Someone who was really old in chat tell me. Um, but anyway, so I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm gonna to say the dinosaurs because it puts us right onto the next game. How I play lizards, the dice lord himself, the guy with the loaded dice, the guy who does dodges and fan plus is no problem. Cami versus oh UC. Man. He loves the UC, doesn't he? Does good old Cami? He yeah. loves he loves winding them up. Ew, what would Man. happen if and, he and got you know, knocked out? Let's let's be fair though, because uh, if I remember, I think it was Mon taking on Fire Talker in last season's uh, playoffs, and uh, I think he made a uh, something crazy like a three plus, five plus, six plus dodge to hit a, a rat at the end. Um, this guy's got some dice of his own, so I don't know if dice is going to be enough to offset this matchup. I think this is a real tough one. I really do. Um... When when I quickly had a look at everything, I was like, crap, I don't know who to go with here. Who 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 do you? think will win it because I'm not sure I'll well, be honest I'm going to go with Kami um, and the reason being is uh, Lizards are OP and anybody who plays Lizards all the time is just trying to beat up on everybody else um, see, so yeah that's see, probably, I, probably I, I like the Lizards but since he calls me a betrayer oh, he, did. he did didn't he and he's against the UC so if I pick the Lizards I might be called a betrayer again so I'm going to go with Mom because it's UC, even though I'm not in UC, but I, I don't want to be called a betrayer. So I'm going to stick with the Dark Elves, and I'll go with Mon. And that's the way I'm going to do it, because I can't decide between both of them. So you've gone that one, I'll go that one, no problem. Now, this this we is sad. All dwarfs are dead. Now, he should be happy. Seg, I like Seg as a character, is Seg. I love Seg to bits. And he's against the Underworld. So I suppose if I wasn't going to get the Underworld, that guy should get the that's Underworld. Yeah, yeah, why not? Um, I think the Chorf's Chop, 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 splat, 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 splat. Although, I will tell you something. Um, Ice is a very good coach. And with all that, with all that, you know, inducements, it wouldn't surprise me if he pulled off a McGarvery. But I'll, I'll stick with the chops, but it wouldn't surprise me if he warped someone. Where, uh, hmm. I, well, yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of a no-brainer here. Um, he's got an MNG on a uh, Skaven Blitzer and yeah. his troll... So we've got essentially a bunch of goblins <laughs> against a tackle. Skaven thrower. Yeah, a Skaven thrower with extra arms and um, down pieces already. So I, I don't know what he's going to pull out of inducements to overcome that, but if he does, it's going to be the story of these playoffs. He's a good coach. He's a good coach. I'm not. I'm obviously we know Seg's a good coach, but this lad's a good coach. So I don't. I mean, on paper, you'd expect the Chops to make Mince Melbourne, but I've, oh, I've got a sneak feeling the Wolves that might make this very close. Um, Nairn County, CCL. I'm so happy to see Ali uh, get to the playoffs. He just missed oh, out yeah. last time against Consult, Consult Merchants, who basically he's pissed off most of his players with um, interesting <laughs> skill choices, including me and, me and I, uh... Jim here. 
Um, we we got a complaint, by the way, in the uh, in the admins. If you if you saw, um, apparently people are upset that he split V Power B and Rand and sewed them together into one person. Uh, apparently, they, they find it's uh, it's grotesque and, and unconductive uh, behavior of the Blood Bowl League. So uh, we're, we're reviewing that we should, at the moment. I think what we should do, to be fair, is if he does if he does win the championship, I think fifty percent of it should go to the admins. Because it's only fair we get a bit of it because we're going to get the stick for it, aren't we? Yeah, you know, all right, fair. I'm good with that. Fair yeah. enough. Good. I was going to suggest that just since Rand and V Power were both in the playoffs, if he just cut them in half and let them both die peacefully, that would be an easier road for you and you know and so on. But um, yeah, you know, but if you want to go that route, I'm good with mate, money too. Jim, there's no money in it that way. There's no yeah, money. I've got a lot to learn, man. You've got lots to learn. This is man. why. You know, this is why got... you have the mansions. That's why I have the mansions. If we do it your way, we don't get paid. This way, if I win, I get paid. If Wheelie wins, I get paid. Do you see? Do you see what the you know the recurring theme is? We get paid. So if Wheelie wins, we get paid. Right. Good. Got that. So there you go, Wheelie. That that's what happens. All right. Good. I'm glad we agreed on that, Wheelie. Glad, glad we agreed on that. I'm glad we didn't tell everybody else as well because we've got to keep it secret. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. That's of, that's under the table. A lot of stuff, people yeah. think we we're don't, like. You... You know, benders, I don't know what, you know, we're like dod dodgy, dodgy no, admins, no. Pff, typical no, no. jokes on them. Um, BKP3, <laughs> BKP3 versus Mock No Legia. I like this matchup because it's the pretty little See? wood elves and the champion versus the Polish warrior. Groove no, I don't his like dice. it. What do you mean you don't I like don't it? like it. How can you say no, that? Because you know now Groovy's Gru going to be pissed at me. He's not going to love me anymore. I don't care about that. I was trying to build it up. You know, nah, 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 nah. I, I was even going. I was even going to a deep voice, you know, just to try and get a suspense because this is the champion against the dice champion. And you know, yeah, nah, nah, don't really like that. It sort of like cuts the atmosphere now, doesn't it? We've got, we've seriously got to get you a land for next season. Who wins it? Though? Let's, let's be fair. CCL is all about love. Um, you know what? I'm going to let you take this one first because I want to take a look at Ruby's team and I want to see if he has like the usual nine dirty players and all that kind of stuff. I'm. Um, I tell you what I'm going to do, and this is the reason why I'm going to say it. Projecti uh -oh. should win, but we was talking about uh -oh. curses earlier and things. Champions have a really bad record next season if they qualify. So Projecti won last season. So if we believe in the the curses and all that, it should get beat. I'm going to say Mokno Legia is going to pitch clear the Wood Elves or very close to it and win two one. How about that for a freaking tip? There um, that's uh, that's a big call, sir. It is. It's, because, a, it's like... a good team that he's got together here. He's he's got fourteen players, thirteen that'll be fielded. He's got four with tackle, four with mighty blow. He has one dirty player, but it's also a sneaky get. He's got a leader on the field, keeping that TV down. He's got a little bit of dauntless on the team. He's he's got a little bit of everything. He's got the entire toolbox packed into one Norse team here. So yeah, in a in a battle of AV7 versus AV7. Um, sorry, Grooby. I'm, I'm going with Projecti. He's a... Uh, tell you what. The, the... I tell you what, Grooby. Who needs friends? Sorry, who needs enemies <laughs> when you've got friends like him? Gives you the champion and then doesn't even have the decency to tip you. I would have done. So... You know what? Uh, they, they've called it out in the chat here and uh, we, we just passed right over it. Who's going to win between Alley Rider and Wheelie? Oh, we just yeah. we just got ourselves a mansion and, and disregarded the actual result. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about we just was bothered all we was bothered about was getting paid, weren't we? <laughs> it's it's clear what our priority is here now at this yeah. point. Like, there's no covering it up now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm tipping wheelie because I want the cash. So we, I'm tipping wheelie. I don't know about you. I'm tipping wheelie. I don't care. Wheelie's gonna win because uh, I get fifty percent of the cash. Well, I mean, this this was a tough one for me here. Uh, I, both of these guys are awesome. Allie's very Think cool. Think of the um, money. Think of the money. <laughs> uh, Wheelie is awesome. I love Wheelie to death. Uh, I love to play Necro. Necro is one of my favorite races, so I kind of want to side that way. Uh, but Wheelie gets my vote uh, because I'm on his team. Yeah, that's right. I do accept bribes. And, uh, he, yeah, no, Wheelie, he's, Wheelie's got to pull that, this one out. I'll tell you what, that was a very good way of saying I want to get paid. Well done, sir. <laughs> so, I'm so, learning, yes. man. I'm learning. Sorry, Wheelie. We was just think we just counting our money. That's what it was. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the console sold merchants. Um, we're going for them. My apologies. That's the first time I've ever done that. 
Say I'm getting old. It's my fault. I got you distracted thinking about the money. I know, I know. But I just think 50%, that's, that's a pretty decent amount of money. Pretty, pretty decent. And don't forget, we could, if you get to the final, we can say, I could, like, like say, look, if you don't give us 65% of the cash, I'm going to give you the bonus tip. So, we, you know what? We, technically, we're going to get 65% of the cash. And he's going to get 35%. Here's what we do. Let's, let's do this with whoever you put as your tip, but right as you're about to announce your tip, I'll cough her aloud, and so nobody will hear it, and yeah. then whoever wins will just say they were the tip. Absolutely, yeah. Good call, good call. Excellent. Yeah, so we're good. We're good, we're good, we got this, we got this. You may get a mansion yet. Um, fat lips and open wounds. Can Stump Humper get over the hump of the playoffs, or will he be seeing tears from another Wood Elf team in Shod? So, you've got, I'll help you here, you've got a coach who struggles in the playoffs against a coach who excels in the playoffs. Hmm. Is this going to go full 360, or is Chod going to keep doing what Chod does best and win? I don't know. Yeah, he is, he is the shotinator because he's a goddamn machine. Um, he is going to go through i love stump stump's a great coach stump has beaten my butt a few times um but uh shod is uh he's an animal i don't think they're stopping shod um in, at least not with brett's mm. yeah i like shod and i don't want to curse him <laughs> so, oh so... boy here it comes here it comes i'm gonna he's, tip he's gonna bring up the admin dice again <laughs> Burn his tip. Da, 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 da. Go to cough. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the Bretonians. I'm tipping the Bretonians. And I think I'm trying to get a bit of nostalgia here. I remember Stump Pumper and Shod. I, I I've cast Shod so many times before. <laughs> I really have. Was this, so I'm was this go with the tip chip? No, no, no. Are these I, Bretonians going the whole no, way? I'm, I'm just trying I'm just trying to give some oh, people oh. heart attacks. Um, now I'm going to I'm going to go with Bretonian. I think it's going to be bad first round for the Wood Elves. I can see both the Wood Elf teams getting broken in half, and put a bit of ketchup on and eat them. Um, so I'm going to go with their uh, fat lips and open wounds to um, make the Wood Elves cry. Wow! Like, you know, wow! Wow! Right. Was I've got to get a few of these wow in there? Dark Shadows. We don't know who that is yet against Helsinki. Vi uh, so we can't really call that game. I can't really call my um, game either, I'm really. Gonna, Do you want to call, call them? Call them. I'm going to call them both. Cool. Um, I think that uh, the unsureness uh, is going to leave either a coach unprepared or a coach who hasn't found his way to communication yet. And uh, I'm going to have to side with both the teams that are already here. Uh, plus, let's be fair, uh, Tor is a great coach, and he you is, know yeah. how to get those those checks. So I do. clearly, you can... You can, yeah. You could probably just split off like fifty bucks of that two hundred fifty that Wheelie's sending, and get whoever the Camry coach is to just mm -hmm. concede. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, you know, I think it'd be good. I, I think I think we're onto a good plan there. Um, I I won't I won't tip them because I don't I look through the two teams, so I'm gonna I'm gonna miss them. Obviously, if you I would tip myself against anyone anyway, because otherwise, what's the point of me being in it? Um, and whoever, <laughs> whoever plays against Toro will have to be very good because Toro is an amazing coach. Um, Dark Fist is a meanie versus a band of <laughs> hobbits. Well, I'm going to go for Algaboo because uh, he's a pain in the ass with these freaking little teams he has. Um, it, so I'm going to go with the band of the hobbits. I'm going to go on the halfling train. Hmm. Um... I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, Kislev should mince them because it can jump in, get the ball, thanks very much, but I think if Band of Hobbits are smart and they get that, because they'll probably get that chef, and they'll, well, you know, I don't know. Here's the thing, uh, Asher has come a long way, um, but he's still a young coach, he's still learning the game, um, he's predominant experience, as far as I know, is with Chaos Dwarfs, Kemri, and here he is playing, unexpectedly, Kislev, he really thought he was going to go with his Kemri, but... He, he didn't really let anybody know, and he didn't delete this team, and so he's um, qualified with a you know one of the yeah. less popular races. Mm -hmm. um, so I question his preparedness versus mm -hmm. you know a, a qualified halfling mm -hmm. coach. I hate to say I think I got to go with the halflings on this one too. Yeah, Asher, if you're worried about your game, you don't think you can beat him, send me a DM. We can sort something out. Gonna cost you about fifty percent of your prize winning fund though, but we can get it yeah. sorted. That's about right. Yeah. We're going about fifty. Yeah, fifty percent. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. We, yeah, seventy-five. No. We gave Wheelie fifty percent. We got to give him seventy-five because this is this is shady business. Yeah, yeah. We could get you know if people found out what we was doing. We could be in serious trouble. So yeah, seventy-five percent. Yeah, he still gets to keep twenty-five percent, doesn't he? 
There you go. It's money, right? It's good money. Come and talk to Uncle Jimmy. He'll sort you out. Gloat. Interesting. (laughs) The Concede King, as we call him, because he got, I think, seven... 14 concedes out of 19 wins something insane I tell you what I wish I could do that and he's against the Bannons Dwarfs with that nice low mower who wins this one uh, so it'll it'll take a, a lot for me to bet against uh, like Projecki a lot to bet against Shad uh, a lot to bet against Abaddon I uh, I really respect and love his play I, I like to watch his streams you know he, he does it late at night right when I'm you know getting ready to crash so I'll watch him for a while um, I don't think the uh, the Gloat that, team really has any chance here. I don't think they know what they're getting into. That sounds very stalkerish, Jim. Sounds very stalkerish. You, yeah, you know, you're going to go to sleep, you're going to watch a banner, you know, or an Arnie banner, <laughs> you know, sweet dreams about him and all that. Very, very stalkerish, Jim. I'm very, very... Yeah. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm um, a Narnia, I, you see, he's up as a Narnia and a banner, which I want to call him. I'm going to call him a banner. I'd yeah, be worried about it. He, Jim is pretty stalkerish, but I'll tell you what, for 50, 50% of your prize fund winnings, he won't stalk you. Tell you what, mate, we... I'll just switch. I'll switch to a different name. You'll know me because I'll be the guy chatting in your chat the whole time. <laughs> we're trying to. We're trying to. Like... We, we, we're trying to. In the last prize, this is the last time there's cash, mate. If we've got to play this right, we've got to get basically everyone uh, owes right. cash. Right. So you are Hold stalking on. him. I'm still registering the name, not Jim Sardonic. Should I stop? Uh, yeah, probably best. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. All right. So Tyrion's group is, yeah, they, they, they should get it done, but uh, I, oh, I don't know. I mean, ironically, I beat Galore to get to the playoffs. Um, yeah, last game of this of your season. Yeah. The, the only concern I can see for a Bannon, and it's only a small concern, is obviously he's, he's a lot of strength three, is against strength four and strength five. Uh, Gloat's been winning, a, uh, beating a lot of the big coaches. Someone said he even beat Dark Fist this season. So, you know, it's going to be close. But you know what? I've got to go, my boy, Bannon. And I bro, bros to the end. So, yeah, Tyrion's group is the Dwarfs. Don't try and score on 10 25, though, mate, because the referees are bent as fuck. Bent <laughs> as fuck. They still owe me a fucking championship. And you know what? They'll let the Lizards have a fucking tree as well to kick the penalty. So, don't go to penalties, are they? Um, <laughs> Apart from that, Tyrion's groupies will win. Uh, Brutal Perfection, Gedley, my boy. And this guy I've probably, had, I've probably given most bear his tips to. And do you know how selfish Gedley is? He's not won one of them. I blame he, Gedley for the care he stories. Tried. He tried last season, but let's be fair. You can only do so much with practically fresh nors. Well, that was the first time I didn't tip him. And he probably got to the final. Oh. How 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 do you feel that makes me hair? You know that hurts my feelings. I think what if you, I think if he wins this season, he owes us fifty percent of his prize money just so I can 50%. get some counselling. Oh, yeah, sixty yeah, percent. Yeah, I, I, I'm really upset. And, he, and he, if I, you know, if I didn't tip him this season and he won it, I'd I'd think he owes me at least fifty six percent so I can get some counselling because it will break my heart. And I'm getting old now. I might drop dead. So you know, oh. I think I think he better give some cash. Tight, well, tight. He's got six guard pieces. He's got a uh, movement six, agility four, thrower. He's got a strength four, blitzer with mighty blow. He has some good pieces here, man. He does. He's and even got a gobble with catch. But he's against Random Ad. These two got against each other in the same finals. Now, I've been really impressed the way Random Ad's been playing with his Dark Elf. Really, really impressed. But you know what? I think Gedler's going to build a wall, and it's going to be a beautiful wall. Painted green with a lot of guards <laughs> around it. And he's going to win. And he's going to make Rand pay for it. You can build a wall off of 50% of the winnings of the CCL, right? Yeah, sure can. Yeah. And I, I right, think well, Gadley will win it. I think Gadley will win it. I'm going to have to go that way too then for the money. Uh, I love Rand. I, I, I said it before and I'm going to say it again. This is going to be a match to watch because I know Rand is going full bore into this. Um, yeah, Rand will want revenge. The only revenge. thing that goes against him here is he's not often an elf coach. This is kind of one of his not common forays into the elf life and he's done very well with it uh it's just that girdley is a goddamn animal with every I, race i think and... girdley's in the same boat as what people used to say to me and he, he does wind you up a bit where they go bernie you're one of the best coaches never to win the championship and i think we all caught about girdley now saying god man how has girdley not won one of these and he proved last season with an absolute shit team and he got it to the final 
And I look at this Oak team and I'm like, oh man, he's going to do it this season. He's got to do it this season. Has to do it this he's... season. But he's not in a great draw because if he beats tight tights, there's a good chance he'll play the Dwarfs. And there's Champions Ladder in this half of the draw. There's some Necro in this draw. There's uh, TVG Majors Nagel in this draw. It is not this... a good this... part of the draw to be in. Yeah, these bottom four matches is going to be a tough road for anybody. This, I think this is the worst. The bottom four, this is the worst part of the draw in here. So if you're in this part of the draw, blame Jim. Not my fault. It's oh, his no. fault. This, it's uh, quite clearly your, this, his fault. The reason, the reason they're the last ones is because I took everybody else's orders first, and these guys didn't get their order in. So, I mean, if they're quicker on that, you know, it's, it's kind of like... Bannon. Asher... Bannon was the first one to give you one, and he's in this. Bannon told you what he wanted. What he wanted uh, sh shot. Shad was the first one, and what are we now saying that uh, lizards aren't stunties because they've got skinks? You got stunties, yeah, yeah, yeah. So technically, Nanya, he did give you what you wanted. I, I'd agree with that. So you know, stop bitching. You wanted stunties. Jim's giving you stunties. <laughs> Perfect. Great one, Jim. Nice one. Um, but you know what, Abandon? It could be a lot worse. You could be the Black Widows against Champions Ladder. Now I must admit, Jim, a lot of people are going to be cursing you here. Because Champions Ladder's got yeah. a club piece out. This was the team they wanted to get rid of really early on because, hey, we don't want him in it because he's scary. And you've given him his yeah. perfect draw. Amazon's. Well, What's yeah, going on, a, Rob? You know, poor it's, Rob. It's a tough spot for Rob. But um, here's here's the thing is, you know, he uh, he's Dr. Zahn. He's, he's done the Zahn thing for, you know, seasons after seasons and... Um, I think, in my opinion, he just needed a little bit of a challenge. He needed that one hump to get over to make his name to really seat himself in the hallowed halls of the champion's ladder structure. And um, I think this is it. This is his chance. If he can get out of this bottom four matches, then uh, he's he's uh, he's yeah. really done something. He's really accomplished something. So yeah. this is his time to shine. This is his Rudy story. But saying all that, champions ladder will still beat him. <laughs> Uh, I will say, uh, for like, what, roughly 250 uh, euros, is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. We will make sure this doesn't happen next season. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's I, I like that, yeah. So if you don't want to show up next season, pay us. We'll make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> um, look, so I'm going for Champions Ladder. Are you going for Champions Ladder? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There's yeah. no question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like a beautiful <laughs> spiel about telling him it's up to him. You, nah, nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> Champions Ladder all the way. Um, the, the Necro, Namio, Nanan, or something like that. Uh, Lupe Alberto versus Black. Mm. Black. Black. So it's it's a, it's not a bad Necro team. He's got uh, some Agility Wolves. He's got a lot of guard on the team. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I still think it's going to be a little bit too much to overcome. He's going to need the, the Claw to come out firing. But uh, i got to give this one to Major. I think Major's got this one. I think it's fair to say, with a cross-platform cup coming up, there's a lot of eyes on TGV Major, because there's a lot of talk that he may be one of the seven, and you know he's got he's got to come out and show us why he should be in one of the seven. Because don't forget, the PS4 are the master race. We are the kings and queens, if we have any queens, um, of the Blood Bowl world. We are the ho holding champions, and I need I need I need some really good guys, and you know the likes of Abanan, um, TGV. Uh, just two of them off the top of my head who want to be in. Maybe even Shod wants a bit of it. I'm still trying to bribe Projecki. You know, it's, it's, it's still... It's still being so what very... You're saying, what you what you're saying is for the low, low price of nine ninety five a month, subscribe to us. Mm -hmm. You could be one of Bernie's good guys. Yeah, see? Good lad, Jim. We'll get it sorted. Or for a lifetime subscription, give me a mansion. Brilliant. Oh, there you go. There you go. Who wins right. this, though? Who wins this? Lupe Alberto or Black? It's black, boss. It's black. I, I uh, the, the claw, black. the EG4 uh, uh, is uh. nice. <laughs> do, 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 uh, do. <laughs> you, you can tell he's getting excited for the tip yeah, when he starts you gotta singing. Gotta get bounce away, bounce away, slide with me, just slide <laughs> with me. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's it, it's lit. It's lit. It's very lit. I'm gonna get mad about my missus if he wakes up. I'm so dead. Um, yeah, because you're dancing in the living room. Yeah, but I am actually sat down on the couch, so I'm doing like a little bit of jig, and it's it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, so um, oh God, yeah, I, I've I've got to go for black because you know TGV, he's one of those 
like shining hopes of trying to make the cross-platform cup. So I want him to do really, really well. So you better win this game, or I'm going to be put in a pickle. Wait, do I, should I do the thing again where where we gave him a tough match, so he has to come pay from us. behind, go over the hump? Well, if he loses this match, oh, us, yeah. If he, he's going to have to pay us to get the cross-platform cup if he loses this match. Um, but again, yeah, Black. I've got to go with him. I've got to go with Black. So they've all been waiting for this last bit. All been waiting. They, I they, confirm they, the round, they, right? They, 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 they don't care about who we think will win the week one games. They just want to know who's going to win the full thing. And they know, like I proved last season, that what I say wins. It's simple as that. And you're that. going with Withered Sun, right? <sighs> no. Oh, you, no, who, no, do, no. who do you fight? So this is how we do it, Jim. You pick a winner from each side so which two teams are in the final because we've got to try and be smart and get both the finalists if possible who wins it on the f fair side well uh, on the first side there's really two that are tempting to me um, mm -hmm. I think you can't discount B Hippie 3 and, and Projecki obviously he's been there yeah. he's done it he can do it again won the t-shirt um, I think I think also you can't discount Mercy with rats. If he can get through those ogres somewhat unscathed, they're gonna squish him. He's he's got a good good path to the future, you know, to the to the finals, and um, I think that would be a you know a, a good way for Mercy to go. So, um, but I don't I don't think he could bet against the champ. I'm gonna put Projecti in the finals once again. Right, time for my controversial. Because oh. I've got to be controversial. If you You're are on, ogres, aren't you? if you are on page one. You have no excuse not to get to a final. Because when you see page two, especially the freaking shit show in the bottom four, where all them freaking, well, I would say most of the favourites were, page one has missed a lot of the big guns, you know, the teams you wouldn't want to play. Um, I won't go for B-Hippie 3, because I'll go for something different. But oh. Projecki has got a really good chance. I won't because obviously I picked him last season. I'll let him off this season. But obviously, if if he won it again, you wouldn't be surprised. But no, not at all. But I, uh, I'm 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 torn between two teams. V Squad, because V Power is just that. too good not to win one, and he was back in season one as well. I also like. Oh, I don't. I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I can't. But oh, I'm it's gonna be Kami. It's Kami. Oh no! I, no, this... no. I, I draw my no, line somewhere. It's it's against you. It's against you. <gasps> I'm going no. to tip to get to the final. The underworld. Mokno Legia, Groobies oh. Norse. Norse got to the final last season again. and this season. Groovy will knock the champion out. He'll swat away console salt merchant, and our cash dreams will be gone. He'll spit out whatever comes back after that, and he'll destroy V Squad in the semi-final. Wait a minute. Let me get this right. I'm I'm still a new admin, so I'm learning these things. Um, you pick somebody, so if they send you the money, and then you mm -hmm. say you're going to get squashed by Groovy. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm writing this down. We, 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 yeah, but if they're going to give us money, we can't tip them because some people stupidly think my tip's cursed. So this way, everybody's happy. But so, mock no Between leash, you yeah. and I. Yeah, so you think B-Hip is going to get to the final. But yeah. I think mock Girl's going to get to the final. <laughs> so so this week, one of us that. is going to be wrong. Yeah. Sorry, Jim. Maybe next time you can learn from, you know, you can learn off me. But yeah, no, no to get this done. So you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll be like, I, I, don't worry, I'll 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 be nice to you. I won't bring it up at all. <laughs> Maybe a little. I tell you what, though. What about the, sec uh... the second page? <sighs> oh, bloody hell! Yeah, <sighs> yeah. We, we should have prepared for this one more. Maybe I think Fuck. this is a. Uh... This obviously, if I if I could tip myself, I'd obviously quite clearly say the Rebel Orcs are going to obviously get this, but I can't. So I've got to try and. Oh man! Obviously. Oh, God, there's just... Oh, man, I can't do it again, surely not. Oh, man. You see this, know. though. You see you see what happens here. When Bernie lets somebody else hit the button, he draws the yet-unknown Kemri team, and then the next round he gets either Kislev or Halflings. Mm -hmm. um, there might 
might be conspiracy afoot here. I didn't even ask you to write me a check because I didn't know we were doing that yet. So there you go, you see. Master plan. <laughs> Master plan. Master plan. So I'm going to go with... You know, I'm going to go with... Uh... Oh, man. I'm sorry. Sorry if this brings a curse. I'm going with Tyrion's groupies. Um, it's hard to go against uh, hard to go against Shab with the Wood Elves. It's hard to go against with the uh, self-proclaimed best Dark or uh, Chaos Dwarf coach. Mm. It's hard to go against Major. Um, and on top of that, I mean, there's like what 14 other good teams here. Um, I, I think Inomao with Lupo Alberto has a chance. Uh, I think I, I think really almost anybody, especially in that bottom four. Yeah. So whoever the winner's coming out of there, but uh, I, I think Dwarves are such a solid team. I think Abo is so positionally brilliant most of the time his decision making is on point he's had a real run of shit dice but right now this is the time for that to turn around and uh and i think it could carry him all the way through so you're going for <laughs> so you're going for narnia then yeah oh bannon i, I, I yeah. can't believe we, i call him both names that's that's how confusing it is but <laughs> um okay so you're gonna go for now see to me I, i've got a bit of a devil and an angel on my shoulders at the moment because I'm going gadly, gadly, gadly. That's that's me angel. Yeah. Sorry, that's my devil. My, my angel's going, oh, don't do it to gadly again. Please don't do it to gadly. Look what happened last season. He didn't tip him and got to a final. And the devil's going, go on, go gadly, go gadly. You know gadly loves it, really. Go gadly, go <laughs> gadly. Rand, Rand, Rand might concede. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rand might concede. Um, <laughs> I was, I had come to the terms there was probably 70% chance I was going to tip Gedley again. Um, because I just rate him as one of the best on, on the PS4. And oh, yeah. I'd, I'd, I didn't want to go project again because I knew, you know, if, you know I'd tipped him last season. Um, but it's a really bad draw, isn't it? Because he gets... It, oh, it, it's a horrendous. It's horrendous. Um, yeah. Part of the draw... I mean, the best... Best case scenario, he miraculously takes on beat the crap Amazons and anything he else is just going to be kind of bad. I, I, I can't see yeah. Dark Fist. I can't see Dark Fist getting past that. But he has to play a Bannon, who you've already picked to win the full, well, to win to get to the final. Um, yep. Or them lizards who make everybody concede. So that's never good. Um, I like TGV Major and I like Dark Fist. Oh God, this is horrendous. I think. I think. Oh, I don't know. I really, I, I'm really struggling. Oh. So here's what we do now. Uh, Bernie, Bernie is struggling between Major and uh, Dark Fist, and and Gadley. so if all of you guys just start sending in cash, um, whoever sends more cash will get Bernie's tip. I think, I think I might have to go for a Bannon, maybe. Oh, I think, uh, I think you smart people pick that. I think Bannon, you know, he's he's got a chance, hasn't he's, he? With the dwarfs. He's double he's double cursed at that point though. You realise we'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, so I don't know. I uh I can't argue with the uh, the decision by any means. There is a lot of uh, tackle bloat in that bottom, you know, with yeah. two dwarf teams, with a dwarf team, um, all those orcs. Boy, it's really that could not be a worse situation for those Amazons. I'm I am i am gonna have to Yeah write a well typed letter to Rob and be like listen man I don't hate you I'm sorry maybe maybe if Bannon sent us some cash in the next couple of minutes I might be persuaded to go somewhere else but that that Bannon team does look very tasty it might even it might even get it might even get the bear in his tip it's it's that here's you know... here's here's my only concern with this mm. those those bottom four to get out of that to be the sole winner of those four bottom games you're not getting out of there unscathed and on the top half, you do have Shad up there with some Wood Elves. He's mm. got a tough opening match against the Bretts. Mm. Um, after that, he's going to have either Vampires or Undead. Um, but those are all handleable matches for, for Shad. He can, do, he can do that. And he can get to I think, I know, think the, Shod the semifinal. Could, I think Shad could easily get to the final because he's in the easy part of the draw of the two. Um, oh, God. <sighs> if, if I'm going for the lols, I've got to go for a Bannon. If I want to be nasty, I go for Gadley. Oh, but you know what? I'm gonna go for TGV Major. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Black. I'm gonna Black, go for them. Wow. 
and going to because I'm impressed every time I've played him a few times before um, and I'm really impressed with TGV Beige I'm a big fan of his so I'm going to go with the Nagel um, I, I won it with Nagel and uh, if I can win it with Nagel TGV can definitely win it with Nagel so I'm going to go TGV in the final against the Norse Nagel and Norse final so uh, who gets the Bernie's tip and who gets the Jim Sardonic tip so you have got either a Bannon or do, 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 Projecky oh, good old Projecky so we're going to call the gym tip the gym jammer. Yeah. The gym jammer. The gym jammer. That's also my, it's also my porn name. I know. Um, That's where I, I got know. it from when I was <laughs> accidentally pressed the buttons and found gym jammer. Um, who? who, who? <laughs> <laughs> I only typed um, in ding dong and it came up with gym jammer. Um, oh, you, you spelled uh, you spelled big <laughs> instead of ding there. I'm sorry. Sorry, Matt. Sorry, um, he's easy on my edge. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so the last season's playoffs, um, my favorite game of the entire time was mm -hmm. Abanan's Lizards taking on Projecki's uh, Wood Elves. Wood and it was just a absolutely brilliant chess match. It was, it was so fun to watch. And just, like, I watched that game probably three times just because I was like, what is going on? These guys are brilliant. I, I, um, didn't, and it I came, didn't see... Sorry, I didn't see the game, Jim, but I was told if um, a Bannon had the Bernie's tip, he would have won. Just saying. Yeah, that. it's true. It came down to one three plus that you know was a surefire score to not even send it to overtime, and it was it was there. So I think this is the time that um, that uh, he he gets his revenge. That three plus you know could go either way, but it should have gone you know sixty percent of the way to to being the successful that time. Um, I think this is the time it it actually makes that three plus. Yeah. And dwarfs have a good record. Um, they've won it a few times, um, but yeah. So, what? Who gets my bear in his tip? Does a groovy 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 wah wah wah, or is it TGV <laughs> Major Black? Bear his tip, and the winner of season twenty-one will be Black TGV Major. Oh. Congratulations to TVG Major. It's great that I could potentially have a champion in the cross-platform cup. Um, don't need to thank me, buddy. I know you're delighted and you'll be wanting to do an Oscar speech and all that sort of stuff, like, because it's as big as that. Um, but, you know, we could just probably skip all this. We don't really need to go through all this, really, do we? We'll just give him the trophy now. That's how confident I am. Oh, I thought you were going to say give us the check. Well, yeah, um, he, he, yeah he, we'll he, give him... He's gonna give us some cash because obviously he wouldn't. He wouldn't quite. He wouldn't win it without the Bernie's tip. Come on, nobody ever wins it without the Bernie's tip, you know. So yeah, he'll give us some cash. I thought, I thought only Projecti won it with the. No, many of them do. Many of them do. It's just them lot. Just ignore all them. They're just naysayers. They're all just jealous. <laughs> ignore them. Ignore them. They don't mean nothing, unless the painters. Then they mean something. So there we go. Um, thanks to Jim. We've, we've almost lasted an hour, and I thought I could ah, talk. I'm such a chatty Kathy. Chatty Cathy. I, I, God forbid when we do the Nuffle Shuffle show. God forbid. It'll be a oh, four-hour blockbuster, won't it? I don't know. It will. So, it is. So, there you go. There's the draw. There's some very good games. Obviously, um, you may play them from now, and we'd like to have them finished by next... Not this Sunday, the following Sunday. I think that gives you plenty of time. Please don't go over. If you are going to go over, let us know. Send us the check, and we'll give you a few extra yeah. days. So, yeah. you know... Um, and, and send it to uh, Benny Buffon's number 77th mansion because that's where I'll be in Hawaii drinking a pina colada. I've got 99 mansions. mansions. No, I've got 99. 99? Like 77, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. earlier this stream, you said you didn't have that many mansions. Yeah, I haven't. I've only got 99. I haven't even got triple figures yet. I've only oh. got 99. That's what I said. I need 100. Maybe this, I mean, is, it's like, maybe this is your season, man. Maybe, yeah. I need, I need 100. I need 100. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. So good luck to everybody. Um, thanks for everyone to keep keeping us um, entertained uh, in the chat. Um, like I say, I know there's going to be winners, there's going to be losers. Um, Ricky Legend, you're a legend because you've done the best thing. You've you've come in when we're about to leave. Oh, it's TGV. Oh, it's, it's, boy. it's TGV. Shit. What do we say? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't tell them what happened. Shit. Fuck. What do we say? Hey, they're a champ. <laughs> <laughs> um, last, last that part? was uh, Bernie's Very Mansion good. 77 once again. Yeah, yeah. Bernie's Mansion 77. Checks go there. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. 
we're done. Sorry, Ricky. You'll have to go back and watch it again, mate. You really will. Yeah. But you, you yeah. know, you'll be delighted. Oh, I'll just, I'll just give through. He watched everything. He's a, he's oh. a cheeky one, isn't he? He's, he's yeah, a lurker. That's how he does it. He sits back. He takes in all the information, and that's how he does it. He just has all what, the, all the knowledge. If, if, if we, if we go with that stalker.com, we could hire him, couldn't we? Because oh. he, he was hiding in the shadows, watching us. I could stand to learn a thing or two from him. Yeah, yeah. Get it, get his, get him, get his thingy. Get get his details, and we might yeah, look, be able to employ him. His name isn't even not major. Like it's not. It's Ricky, not a, legend. Ricky, legend. What's, who who named themselves Ricky Legend? Somebody who's a very good stalker, apparently. Yeah. So much to learn. So much to learn. So much to learn. Absolutely. Anyway, we're going, guys. Ciao, adios, muchachos, whatever you want. See you later, alligator. Anything else you need <laughs> to say? Stay classy uh, out there. Nope, nope. Thanks for watching, and uh, get uh, get those games played. And stay fantastic. Boom. Yes. Where's Boom. my Hoover? <laughs>